Hey everyone, Miss Jen here. Welcome to today's lesson. So for today, I'm going to teach you a very popular phrasal verb, to cut off. So let's jump right into the lesson. So if you're on my Patreon, click that link below this video uh, because I always include a lesson plan with homework and exercises. Okay, so just click on that link and when you open it, you'll see this lesson plan. So phrasal verb of the day, to cut off. So I created this lesson for today because the phrasal verb to cut off is used in many different ways. So I thought it would be a good phrasal verb for this lesson. So on page two, as you can see here, I put the definitions on the right, or pardon me, on the left. So we have the first three definitions on the left and some example sentences on the right to match. So definitions on the left. So here are the the first three ways that we use this phrasal verb, first main ways. So definition number one, when we say cut off, we use it with making food or cooking. So for example, whenever you're removing something like food, using a sharp tool like a knife, we say cut off. So for example, like you see on my right, example number one, can you cut off a slice of bread, please? Definition number two, discontinue or stop the use of something like a utility bill, for example, such as electricity or water. So if you don't pay your water bill, the water company will cut you off. I also must mention that with the phrasal verb cut off, it stays the same, the spelling with each verb tense. So we say cut off in the present tense, cut off in the past tense, and add will with cut off for the future tense. So if you don't pay your water bill, they will cut off your water, okay? Now, just like you see with my example number two, due to the unpaid bill status, we have to cut off your water utility. Now, definition number three, prevent someone from having access to something. So an example would be with a credit card. If you don't pay your credit card, they will cut you off. So example number three, you are cut off from using this credit card. Now, as I always say, I recommend that you create your own sentences on your own to match each different each different definition, and that will really help you remember how to use uh, these new words and phrases you're learning, because if you don't use it, you lose it, as I always say. All right, so let's go to the next page, meaning continued. Now we have three more definitions here on the left, on my left, and the examples on the right. So number four, to interrupt someone while they are speaking. So I'm saying they because it's either he or she or non-binary. So to interrupt someone while they are speaking. So if you look on the right, my example for this would be number four. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off. What were you saying? So we say that a lot in English. It's a very casual way to uh to politely apologize for interrupting someone. If you are in a formal setting, like a business or academic setting, I recommend you use the verb interrupt. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt you. But with cut off, you can use this with friends or more informal or casual uh, conversations. So we use cut off with friends, or even if you're on the phone, oh gosh, I'm so sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off. What were you saying? So we use it a lot with the definition number four, like this. Definition number five, to disinherit someone from your family's wealth or property, to reject or disown someone. So to kind of talk about this in a deeper way, for example, uh, if someone in your family maybe did something bad, your family might cut them off, meaning that they don't have access to the wealth, so it's also similar to the other definition on the first page, but it also goes deeper. If you're cut off from the property, it's a, it's a stronger definition when you're really rejecting someone from your life. You're cutting them off from any sort of communication or connection to you. Just like with my example for number five, you are cut off from the family. 
Now, definition number six, I don't know if they use this phrasal verb in other English speaking countries, but we definitely use it here in America. So when you're driving, if someone drives past you and goes in front of you, but goes in front of you quickly where it's unsafe and it makes you stop on uh, stop or hit your brakes, we use the phrasal verb cut off. So for example, I live in Southern California. So in Los Angeles, LA, people are always cutting you off because everyone's in a rush. So we use this phrasal verb all the time, especially if you get into a car accident, God forbid, and you're discussing the accident, the details about what happened. If you have to speak English, for example, if you're in a different country, you know, especially America, they will expect you to use that phrasal verb if that happened, right? And you accidentally bumped into them. So we use it definitely a lot, especially with uh, cars. So number six, in America, we use this phrase when someone is driving aggressively and overtakes the lane. So they go right in front of you quickly. Uh, and it's definitely used a lot in America. Now, my example here, number six on the right, did you see that? That car just cut me off. And another English tip I need to mention is that whenever, as you can see here, like me, a pronoun, whenever there's a noun or pronoun involved, right, you have to put it in the middle, okay? Like even with number four, I didn't mean to cut you off. Okay, so if there's a subject, that pronoun, for example, like me or you has to go in the middle, like some phrasal verbs. All right. So let me know in the comments below if you have any questions, but let's continue to practice together. So I recommend to either practice speaking with a friend, with us here on Patreon. You can leave your uh, answers in the comments below and we can interact that way but you also can practice writing okay as long as you're practicing these words that you're learning whether it's with speaking or writing that's going to help you out tremendously so question number one on this page have you ever cut someone off while driving i have definitely cut someone off by accident i normally don't like to do that i like to drive very safe now share in the comments below too about these answers, about these questions. Yeah, share your answers below. Question number two, have you ever cut off someone while they were speaking? Yes, I think we're all guilty of that. We probably do that quite a bit, cut people off by accident while they are speaking. So especially in America, it's very good to apologize for that. We do consider it rude if you interrupt someone a lot while they are speaking. All right, now on this next page, question one, how could you use this phrasal verb in a sentence? So try thinking about your life. It's really good to create sentences that relate to your own life and think, how can I use this phrasal verb in a sentence? How can I use this phrasal verb in a way that relates to my life? Now, for example, with the phrasal verb cut off, I use this phrasal verb a lot with food. Whenever I am eating fruit, sometimes I need to cut off a piece of fruit and give it to a friend. Question number two, do you know anyone that was cut off from their family? I do actually, I do know some people that were cut off for their, from their family because of bad choices that they made. So you can cut off communication, you can cut off any sort of connection with someone else. We use this phrasal verb and we use it in a very strong way. So it, it implies that something probably bad has happened within the family or group of friends. You can use it in any situation where you take a break from a connection or you stop communicating until there's more peace, right? So as I always say, share your answers in the comments below to these questions. And that's really a great way to work together in groups and with each other in this little community that we're creating, because it really helps to learn from each other. It really helps strengthen your English speaking skills. So I will see you. Uh, I will see you next time. Take care. Bye.